Hello and welcome. We are going to jump right into how to communicate effectively to a prospect when you're SMS text message marketing to get it to a lead, to get it to a deal and all the way down the chain in this series. So what you want to do first, if you're utilizing launch control, although this will work for any other platform in terms of how to communicate, you're going to want to go to the left hand control panel and click on that. Once you do go to your inbox and in your inbox, all of the communications happen. Of course, you can sort them, whether they're hot, warm, nurturing, uh, something prospects that could potentially, you know, become a lead in the near future or your drip campaigns, which by the way, we cover drip campaigns in another video that, you know, is very important to talk about how to utilize drip campaigns effectively. And if you haven't seen that yet, or you want to see it later, it'll be linked in the description below, or you can click that card right there. But here we'll go and talk about effectively communicating with these individuals. So this is one that just came in at 3.10 p.m. and currently the time is 4.15. And they said yes. So what you'll see when you're sending out batches, if you've already sent out batches, which again, you can find that video linked in the description or click this card if you haven't seen it, you'll then get responses. And all these responses are categorized in this cool little, looks like your text message on a phone or whatever, but you can do it via the mobile app of Launch Control or this desktop, which I like utilizing the desktop, gives me more real estate, Okay, no pun intended because we're in the real estate business. So you'll be able to see the actual address of the property, quick link to Zillow, quick link to Google Maps to see the street view of that property as well. And then the text communications. Now notice something really interesting. In September of 2022, we asked, hey, just checking if you got my letter about your place, right? As a direct mail campaign, a follow up to text, we kind of want to approach it from all angles. And then nothing, crickets for months. Uh, so we decided to reach out again, and then another time, and then today. So today we said, how's your day? I'm searching to find uh, the to the owner of this property address. Is that still you? Yes. What I don't want to do is respond because my team's going to be doing exactly that. So I'm going to mark this as unread. And then I'm going to show you an example of how to effectively communicate. And that is utilizing quick replies and utilizing your noodle. And in order to do that, I'm going to show you one that my team has already vetted, that has already been a lead. And I'm going to show you by taking away the warm, the nurture, the drip, and the no status to show you what a conversation looks like with all of these hot leads, let's just go ahead and look at the very first one and look at some of this communication. So uh, we see that back in 22, back in last year and still today, we're communicating with this and now it's a hot lead. So it shows us that I'm not looking to sell. Of course, the fortune is in the follow-up. We all know that. These were the texts that had gone out. And other than what is your offer, this is a quick reply. So getting into the how to do this for utilizing quick replies, you would just come down here and you would choose quick replies. Now, part of the marketing launch accelerator package where we do this for you and set it all up is including all of these in in addition to the KPI tracker that we had mentioned where we have uh, the, the custom KPI tracker that we built. You can get on the phone with our team if you're interested, linked in the description below. It'll say marketing launch strategy session where we can just do this for you. Uh, but this is going to be more of a training of assuming you've either already purchased that or you're just doing this on your own and you want to utilize these at a high level to communicate with uh, potential prospects, uh, potential leads and get them to the closing table. So you have a couple categories that we've created and if you're, you know, either way, we recommend you do this too. create these yourself. So what they asked was, what is your offer? And the response was, our offer would be equal to fair market value plus current condition. I know that I reached out to you out of the blue, but may I ask for the reason why you are looking to sell? I'm not looking to sell. So this is somebody that was at some point not really interested in selling. They just wanted to know what the offer was. And that itself was a quick reply categorized here. And we can see these really quickly, right? Filtering by it. So, right, who is this? Not interested, not now. Listing opportunity, tech, like tenant occupied, 
all of these. So when you look at this list, right, and they ask you, what is your offer? Well, then of course we're, we've arrived at what is your offer? We have a couple different ones, right? Um, is, you know, is there, is the one, you know, confirming that that's the one. And we look at what your offer is. It's offer slash motivation. Our offer would be equal to fair market value plus current condition. So that's what they did. The team just clicked that. They have the ability to edit it before it's sent. And of course, I'm not going to send that again because we already have this prospect in our CRM, which is Forefront CRM, by the way. And if you haven't used that or heard about it, you should check it out. Linked in the description below. But what we're looking at here is how to communicate effectively. Utilizing those quick replies, especially if you're having somebody else do this in your business, is going to be paramount. Now, whether you have us fulfill on building all of this out, whether you're utilizing launch control or smarter contact or whatever it is that we'll build out for you. And again, you can get that linked in the description below to get on our calendar to talk about it. You want to make sure that you utilize quick replies for your team that you have made to be effective and that are proven. So that's what we've done here. And it was so interesting just looking at this, like, I'm not looking to sell. I'll listen to your offer. Great. Our offer would be equal to fair market value. I hope your day is going well. I thought I'd reach out. Look at that. That was today. You can submit a ballpark offer and I can tell you if it's something I would consider. Uh, what is your expectation of value based on the current market? Market value based on comps. Okay. Assuming that our offer is acceptable to you, how soon would you want to close? 60 to 90 days. I also have tenants. Okay, so may I ask one to 10, 10 being fully updated, how do you rate the property's current condition? An eight to nine. So apparently they believe their property that they have tenants in to be um, in pretty good shape, which is fine. And that may or may not be true. You might also be asking yourself why we're not really digging into the, well, what is your expectation of value? Or, you know, tell me about the kitchen and the bed and the bath and all this other stuff because less is more in this case, right? And our real desire is to figure out motivation first because motivation is the most important thing. If this person wants to sell and we're their buyer, we're their buyer whether or not it's uh, falling apart or we're their buyer whether or not um, they expected in the beginning to get $500,000 for their property, but we eventually agreed on 400. So it doesn't matter as much to us what their initial offer, like what they're trying to look at to get offers in at, they said based on market value and comps, which is great because we can justify an offer that way. And by the way, we'll keep, we'll move on because you know, that particular conversation is for another video that you can find right here later. If you want to see it, it's linked in the description below. That is how to actually have those conversations on the phone to get the deal closed. And we have a whole playlist on that as well. But apparently this person is now more motivated and we said, got it. We'll take a look at the comparable sales and follow up with you. Um, you know, and then we're talking about, uh, have a great day. And then have you ever considered listing? That of course, you know, is, is because we want to make sure that if they don't want to list, we rule that out, but we, we have those conversations with them when we're on the phone with them as well. So when my team is done, it's a pretty good job to qualify this lead and send it over to our CRM. So that's one way. And now let's look at another one just to see, you know, the conversations that are going on. And I've never seen these before. I didn't follow ahead of this video. I'm getting into this right now. So that was um, last year, 822, depends on the price, who are you? Our offer would be equal to, and remember we talked about that, that was a, uh, a quick reply. And by the way, uh, it was edited, as I mentioned, I showed you that you can edit that once you click the quick reply. So that was a bit of no response, wasn't there? So that was not until January of 2023, and then again, it was depends on the price, who are you? And now, sure, it all depends on the price. So this person may be one of those, ah, at that juncture, I'm not really motivated, I'll sell if I get a really high dollar amount. So again, great, our, our offer would be fair market value and depending on the comps and all that and the condition. So hope your day is going well because what, what happened here? We were ghosted for a couple days and then we followed back up with them. Yes, let's talk in two to three weeks. I'm in the middle of a little renovation project now. Got it, get back to you soon. And then 
Again, hope your day is going well. I'll follow up with you again to see if you're interested soon. So that was today. And then, sure, are you planning to cover all the closing costs and fees? We can discuss that, right? I'll have one of my team members reach out to you again. And this is good. I would say I would want this to be a lead. They're planning on selling. They might be a little high on price. That doesn't necessarily mean that we can't do something. We buy creative deals subject to seller financing, all sorts of different ways to structure opportunities. The goal for us is to get somebody who wants to sell their home and find a solution. So while you may have different conversations and you may be utilizing different quick replies and you may cater those quick replies to a little bit of a different scenario, uh, it's up to you and your business. If you're just trying to wholesale, clearly you're not looking to renovate something, you're going to be beholden to the buyers. The buyers in your market who are renovating the properties, what do they want? Right? Not about what you want, not about what you want to flip, but what you want to wholesale because your buyers want that. So all that said, we're looking for rentals, we're looking for flips, we're looking for everything you could think of. So for us, we'll refer to a listing agent in whatever market we're actually in, uh, depending on whether or not they're interested. We do a best of both worlds scenario. So communicating with the end in mind, right? Whatever your end is, is what is most important and it should be most important to you. So even though I've given you a snapshot of the way in which we'll communicate to prospects to turn them into leads, take that with a grain of salt and implement what you need to implement in your business. And again, if you want more clarity on that, if you want questions answered, drop comments in the comment section below, or just get on a one-on-one -on -one with us on a marketing launch uh, strategy session, and we'll talk to you about options that we have, the Marketing Launch Accelerator package to build this out for you, or just give you some really solid advice on where you are if you don't want to set that up. If you don't want us to have it set it up for you, it's all good. So I hope you enjoyed this video and, and all of the stuff that we covered. You're not out of the woods yet though, because if you don't understand how to take them and then speak to them on the phone after your team has qualified them as a lead, then it doesn't matter all that work that you've done prior to that. So be sure to check out this next video where that's exactly what we're going to cover, how to talk to these sellers on the phone and get the deal closed. You're not going to want to miss this because we're going to make it easy.